Hey guys, Chris Cook in Nashville here, and we're taking carnivore bread to a completely different level. Can you say crustinis, croutons, all of the dips and everything you need? It's going to be pretty magical. Guys, stick around for this one. So today we're doing carnivore crostini and carnivore croutons for your keto or carnivore dips. If you want to do keto salads, you're going to be using my bread. I'm going to link the recipe video down below of how we make this. But I knew I needed a special taste tester for this one. So I would like to introduce you guys to someone very important in our lives, someone very special. This is my mother-in-law, Care. Thank you so much for being oh, in the kitchen. Thank you for having me. It's so great to be back home in Tennessee. So my mother-in-law actually has a really cool story. She's a type 2 diabetic and has dealt with that for a long time in your life. 35 years. 35 years. And you started eating lower carb and started changing your diet. And I know you know about Dr. Barry. Yes. And keto and carnivore and all these things. Mm -hmm. What happened to your A1C? I was in the hospital in November and it was 12. So it was off the chart. My last doctor visit, it was 5.2. That is absolutely amazing. And I know you've lost a bunch of weight too. 63 pounds unbelievable. Keto and carnivore and all these low-carb foods are such a wonderful thing. Care is a lover of bread, yes. always has been. I thought she would be the perfect person to try this out today. So we're going to see what she thinks of the carnivore bread, carnivore crostini, and carnivore croutons. All right, to start out, she's never had my carnivore bread before, so I'm going to let her experience this just as bread would be. And I'm going to actually have a little bit with her because I'm sure this is going to be fantastic. So you guys do the recipe correctly. It can take a little bit of practice, but we get beautiful, soft bread. We've got a little bit of butter because what would bread be without some fantastic spreadable butter? One for you. Thank you. One for me. Oh my gosh, it even feels like real bread. Nice and soft. Take a bite and let us know what you think of carnivore bread. Wow. I would not know. I, and I am a connoisseur of bread. Mm -hmm. We all know that. Mm. It's got a really good texture. It's super soft, yet it has a real nice crust. Definitely two thumbs up. Can I ask what's in it? Since you've never had it before, tasting it, what do you think is in it? To me, it's, it tastes like regular bread. Mm -hmm. You know, I would assume flour and regular bread. So there's no flour of any kind. Eggs and egg powder. Okay. And beef gelatin, heavy whipping cream. And that's basically it. No way. That's Absolutely it. no way. Yep. It's amazing. Even to look at it, it mm -hmm. it's, it's a beautiful presentation. Well, let's turn it into something crispy. Let's do it. Let me show you guys how we turn it into croutons and crostinis. So to turn these into croutons and crostinis, I'm going to go ahead and cut these up into slices for crostini. I have some great dips we're going to serve with that. You can do keto or carnivore kinds of dips. I'm also going to cut some into cubes and we're going to turn those into croutons for a beautiful keto salad. These are going to end up going into a dehydrator for probably 15 to 20 minutes, but we're going to check it as it goes and we'll finish them off in the oven. Let me show you guys how we do this because if you have leftover bread or if it gets a little old or maybe it didn't turn out quite the way you wanted it to because it's the first time you've done it, this is a great way to use it and not just have to throw it away. So let me go ahead and cut these up. I'm going to show you guys how we put them in the dehydrator and how we turn them into crostini and croutons.
So now our crostini and our croutons are gonna go into the dehydrator 165 degrees for probably 15 to 20 minutes. It may take longer, it may go faster. You just have to keep an eye on it. We want this to be dry enough that it is firm, but not so dry that it would start to crumble. We want there to be just a little bit of give. I'll let you know how long that takes. It's probably gonna be different wherever you are based on humidity. We're just gonna get these dried out and then we're gonna get ready to put them in the oven and turn them into those crostini and croutons everyone's looking forward to. So the crostini and the croutons have come out of the dehydrator. This took about 30 minutes for me. So they are dry feeling on the outside, but they are still a little bit soft. It's exactly what we need because now we're gonna brush all of these with melted butter, put them on a cookie sheet, and they're gonna go into an oven that is set to the maximum temperature on mine. That's 525 degrees and we're gonna toast them. We're gonna keep an eye on them because we need them to get brown and crispy without getting burnt around the edges. So you just have to keep an eye on it. So I'm gonna brush all of the crostini with melted butter. I'm I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning and I'm gonna to toss the croutons in the rest of that melted butter and then we're gonna throw them in the oven. So the crostini have all been brushed on one side with butter. Those are ready to go. I have the croutons in a bowl. I'm going to drizzle some butter over top of them and you can choose to season or not however you want. I'm gonna use some Italian seasoning, some white pepper and some garlic powder. For this number of croutons, maybe a half teaspoon of each, toss it all together with the butter and then that's gonna go on the tray as well. Season to your taste. So these are all buttered and seasoned up, ready to go in the oven. It's preheated to 525 degrees, probably gonna take anywhere from five to 10 minutes. But again, it all depends on how much humidity you have still in your bread and in the area where you live. So keep an eye on it. We want them to just start turning a little more brown, getting crispy and dry on the outside. And then we pull them out so that they don't get too dry. All right, y'all, that's how we turn the carnivore bread into crostinis and croutons, and I think this is gonna be a fun taste test. Absolutely. It looks beautiful. So I have a couple of keto dips here, which this is kind of a pimento cheese style dip. The pimento cheese dip could easily be made carnivore if you just leave out the pimentos. Spinach dip. We're gonna have Kara try a couple of things, see what she thinks here. She's gonna give you guys honest feedback because nobody ever comes on camera and lies. I don't ever want that to happen. So she's gonna tell you guys what she thinks. I think we're gonna sit down and have some lunch together. Sounds good. Dig in, tell us what you think. Okay, so I do have a question. How many carbs are we looking at? For the entire bread recipe, which was all three of those baguettes that has made all of the crostinis and all of the croutons, somewhere between six and 12 carbs for the entire thing, depending on what kind of cream you're using and what the carb count would be of that dairy. Otherwise, there's no carbs in it. Oh my gosh. 
the bread is incredible. I love the dip. What's in the dip? A couple of different kinds of cheddar cheese, a mayo and sour cream base, and then those little pimentos that you see with like olives, things like mm. that, a few seasonings. So the mm. pimento cheese dip, as well as the spinach dip over here, we're actually going to be sending out written recipes to my Patreon members in the band. If you guys didn't know, I have a private group with the band members that help us support the channel and they get some extra recipes just like that. So they're gonna get to enjoy these very soon. Good. So this is the spinach dip. Mm -hmm. Again, we're we're talking low carb. Yep, yep, low carb. That is made with all of my own seasonings, so I'm not using the packets that come with whatever the weird additives are. Oh, it's got a lot of flavor. Mm. Okay, I'm wearing it. <laughs> That's all right. If you're not like wearing it, it, you're not enjoying it around here. Oh, it's delicious. I've been making this, uh, not this spinach dip, but spinach dip ever since my kids have been little, and so that's like 46 years. That is just as good, if not better. And I use the one with the envelope with all the chemicals. Right, right, right. Yep. Mm. It's a really easy thing to do at home and keep it nice and clean. And It's a good spinach dip. Yeah. Then we have a beautiful little salad with some Italian dressing and some tasty carnivore croutons on top. I mean, somebody's got to do this. Wow, those are really well seasoned and very flavorful. I have to say, this is my favorite, though. Yeah. You know, this this is just delicious. I could see this being served at holiday time. Yes. Definitely. Yes. We're coming up into that time of year where holidays are going to be starting to happen and everyone's getting together and things like spinach dips and all of the crackers and all the stuff that we've all eaten all of our lives. Yeah. It's all going to be coming back, but this is a way you can do it keto. Or if you wanted to do something like a cheese dip and leave out those pimentos, you could even have a carnivore version. So I love it. I love it. Yeah. Great job. Well, this is a lot of fun. Kara, thank you so much for being in the video Thank with you. me. We're so glad that she's here in town and getting to spend a little time with us. So that's how we do the carnivore crostini, the carnivore croutons for salads. I hope you guys really enjoy that. All of the band members be on the lookout for these two dip recipes that are going to be coming out. If you guys would like to join the band, the link is down below. You can join either on my YouTube channel or on Patreon. On Patreon, $5 and up. And on YouTube, it's one price, $5 a month. All of you guys get those extra recipes from time to time, as well as some behind the scenes content. All my other links are down below. I mean, you guys, you go ahead and eat. You this guys go so down good. there, find all the information you need. In the meantime, Care and Ash and I are going to be sitting here having lunch with some carnivore crostinis. Thank you guys for being here and watching. This is Chris Cook in Nashville, my beautiful mother-in-law, Care. You guys, make sure to eat your Bye. meat, even when it looks like crostinis and croutons. Love your life. We'll see you here in the kitchen for a bunch more recipes. And if you think this recipe is cool, go check this one out right over here. I could eat that all day. It's good, right? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I guess that one's really good too, though.